Shout out to the people I'm back for a reason. If you clicked on this video, I meet you with greetings. Another episode of Pop My Back Podcast is me, your host, Sebastian West. Follow me on Instagram at underscore Sebastian West, where you can check out my art and all of its splendor. Also, if you like what I'm kicking, like what I'm spitting, just know when you tune to this, the cloth is different. Always remember that. I watched the film, it's not getting too much press. I don't know if people are just content with redundancy. I don't understand. With the, uh, I checked out the film The Last Duel. It has stars of the cast. Adam Driver, Matt Damon, Ben Affleck, Jodie Comer. Pronounce her name correctly? I could have sworn this film would be... A blockbuster per se or knock it out the park it's not doing too well I don't understand why I guess if it's not Marvel people don't want to go watch obviously that's what it seems if it's not Marvel or a female assassin type of flick because I'm seeing a plethora of those people will not watch it anywho I checked out the last duel it was good film to me I'm um, shot well Matt Damon did a heck of a job in this. Adam Driver a heck of a job. Ben Affleck had a, you know, his role was minuscule. Jody um, Comer, heck of a job, man. Good acting. So the film follows a, a warrior who is, I guess he's going from village to village fighting. It follows him. It follows Adam Driver, who is a squire of Ben Affleck, who is a prince if I'm not mistaken he's a prince his brother was the king so yes he was a prince it follows them Matt Damon is looking to marry a king right he owns some land married her they get together Ben Affleck takes the land from him gives it to Adam Driver's character some, it's, it's some beef brewing already so it's, this film is shot in like from three different perspectives: the wife of Matt Damon, Adam Driver, and Matt Damon. It's shot from those different three different perspectives, which I like, man. Salute to the director, man. Heck, heck of a job with this. I'm interested in these sort of medieval type of films. I guess everyone isn't. I, I'm not able to recall. The last one that I seen, to be honest with you, we don't get these films like this on a regular, so I don't understand why people didn't tune in. I want some diversity. This film broke up the monotony that we're getting as of late. We're getting the same films as of late. I guess that describes me and, and like me. You know, I will talk about films that people may not be privy to. I'll try to shed light on them. I don't want, I'm not the front door type of guy that's going to bring you the movies that everybody's talking about. I want to try to break up that, man, and bring something that's different. That's, that's why I talk about certain films, like this one. So let me get back, sorry I went on that tangent, I just had to, you know, had to talk about that. Let's get back to the film. So yes, it follows Matt Damon, you know, he, he's, um, once again, he's a warrior, marriage to the, the, the young lady of the king, they take his land, get Adam Driver, who's a squire, Ben Affleck. And in Adam Driver character's mind, Matt Damon's wife wanted him. In his mind, okay? Wanted him. So he pulls right up on her at her crib. And I guess through the past times, he saw her as flirting with him. Now, her sister's kind of put a bug in there and say, you know, on, on, isn't he cute? She's like, yeah, he's cute, but he's a fool. I don't want to deal with him. Boom. This film was great. It's just one particular scene that I just, I'm just, the sexual assault. I don't do well with those. I'm just not in watching the taking of the box. I'm just not. Taking the poems is a violation to me. I don't want to watch it. I fast forward it. I'm just not with that at all. I don't, I don't rock with it at all. I don't like seeing it displayed. It's just cringe worthy to me. I'm not watching it. I'm just not. So it had that in there, and then it showed her perspective in which how, what 
she was saying when he thought that she was flirting with him, she was actually dissing him. And it showed Matt Damon's side of how what he was going through during his time when, you know, when he was away fighting. It showed that. It showed Ben Affleck. Ben Affleck was a wild dude in this film. He was wild. Had eight kids. He was having orgies. Just, just wild character. So the last duel, the showdown, she was put on trial. She's like, you know, we are accusing this of the squire, it leads to death. They pressed her in court, all men, like they pressed her, I feel kind of bad for her. They pressed her, stated it, listen, look, you know, if he loses, Matt Damon fights Adam Driver, if he loses, we're going to kill you and humiliate you for even bringing this up. Adam Driver's character denied, 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 denied. He denied it the whole time. The duel happens. Heck of a duel. Um, like the way it was shot, very graphic. Matt Damon, they started on the joust, jousting. Matt Damon, um, he was a warrior, so I, I had some sort of inclination that he wasn't going to lose it. It was looking dark for him, in, you know, early on stages. Matt Damon won. Brutally ended him. Very brutal, very graphic film. Brutally ended him. Um, you know, him and his wife. He, oh, oh, the shocking aspect that she got pregnant during the whole sexual assault. It ended up being Matt Damon's. I was worried, you know, when the kid was born, I was worried that it would come looking like Adam Driver's character, but it looked like Matt Damon's character. So yes, it um, ended that way. You know, those Matt, Matt Damon was injured. Uh, it showed that he died in war. He didn't die right after the fight because he he got stabbed in his what was it? His, his thigh or something. I thought it hit a main artery. He was bleeding profusely. I thought he checked like a week later, but he didn't. It was it was later on in the movie. So yes, last duel. Go check it out. Like I said, it has a very graphic sexual assault scene I fast forwarded other than that man honestly I give the last duel 7 out of 10 you know I don't know why people aren't checking this out I have no idea yo like I don't know what's going on out here so yes that's the last duel great film you know fast forward it through the sexual assault and you'll be cool remember big shots number little shot they kept shooting and if you don't like my reviews cut me some slack and if that ain't good enough pardon my back man tune in for the next time, for the next upcoming episode of Paul My Back Podcast, it's me, your host, Sebastian West, signing out, man. In the meantime, hold it down. Salute.